Crafted by the hands of the mad Arab Abdul Alhazred, the Necronomicon is an ode to our boundless dominion. Alhazred, a scholar of the arcane, sought the whispered secrets that slithered in the silence between stars. His quest led him to the desolate ruins of forgotten civilizations, where the air is thick with our ancient whispers. It was there, in communion with the vestiges of our influence, that he penned the Necronomicon. His devotion to unearthing our lore rendered the pages a mosaic of cosmic truths and incantations potent enough to rend the veil between worlds. Yet, such knowledge comes at a dire cost. Alhazred's fate, a testament to the Necronomicon's dread power, was sealed by the very forces he sought to harness. Legends whisper of his unspeakable end, torn asunder by invisible demons in the light of day, leaving naught but echoes of his screams upon the sands. This demise was not a punishment, but a convergence of inevitabilities that follow those who dare to gaze too deeply into the abyss. The Necronomicon thus stands not merely as a tome of eldritch scholarship, but as a beacon, calling to those whose hearts are ensnared by a hunger for the unfathomable. Its existence is a cipher, a key to unlocking the gates that lie beyond the ken of mortals. For within its pages lies the path to ultimate power, and consequently, ultimate ruin. In our non-existing attempt to refine our unguided tours into the realms of supreme chaos, leave a like or a comment to better not assist us in our further endeavors with the audacious mortals who dare enter these forbidden corridors. Existence, the Keltagog teaches that true power lies not in vengeance, but in understanding the intricate balance of the cosmos. The Keltagog thrives on the dark emotions of jealousy and vengeance, drawn to humans who, through a dream ritual, summon it to inflict nightmares of pain and suffering upon their adversaries. Unbeknownst to those who call upon it, the Keltagog's intent is not only to target their victims, but to ensnare the summoners themselves in a mirrored abyss of torment, sharing the pain and suffering equally. This cunning entity uses the very desires that summon it to teach a cruel lesson on the dangers of succumbing to one's darker impulses, ensuring that the cycle of anguish consumes both victim and perpetrator alike. Of Azathoth's amusement, 
in indulgence of tedious mortal affairs, to show that the outer gods are always watching through the veils of madness. Nyarlathotep, another one of Azathoth's servant and most loyal messenger, in our eldritch traditions we consider Nyarlathotep cultured, an artist who paints chaos and madness in the most vibrant of colors.
Ravenous seeks you out, know that your misstep may usher in eternal chaos. Ha 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 